Hello everyone, welcome uh, to this video, which is the first uh, that, that I can remember of recording my desktop using an application I got for free. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm finally getting around to the fact of showing people how I create mods, as that's really the main thing I do on this channel of uh, creating and playing mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to go to Victoria 2, as I don't know how to mod anything else. Uh, you go to your Victoria 2 folder. I have a shortcut here on my desktop, uh, which I like to do because it's a very simple way to get to. But in case you don't know how to get to it, uh, you just go to Computer, uh, your OS, and this is assuming you installed it normally. My Victoria 2 is actually downloaded through Amazon. Uh, so maybe different from yours if it is different checking your steam files but through mine it's program files you go down to the paradox interactive uh, Victoria 2 and here it is it will look somewhat like this except I have a few things added in here so once you're here this is the main uh, this is the main game folder uh, for Victoria 2. Everything here is in its nice little um, compartments that the game uses to load things. And the main feature of a mod is that you either add new folders and files or you edit them. And the game just takes it in and it reads it. Now, the actual mod folder in the game... Uh, I don't use, I don't know how to use it, I have Victoria Ultimate in here, as you can see, uh, but what I use is this other thing called uh, JSGME, I got this a while ago actually, not that far ago, but uh, like two years, forgot exactly how I got it, in fact I forgot how I taught myself how to mod, or if I read it from somewhere, I think I taught myself, uh, but the link for this will be in the description. Basically what it is, hopefully this doesn't uh, mess up the recording, is that it's, uh, it's just its own little mod enabler, and that you click on a mod, and then you can enable it. And what it does is it um, merges all folders from the mod into the game, and it overwrites files if they are the same name, and then when you deactivate it, it brings it all to its original state. Now, how do you mod exactly? So you can see here all the different folders. Um, I activate them as I see fit, and I'll go into my Shattered UK just to see how to, or just to show you how to do it. Uh, the title of this video will probably say this, but this is basically just an introductory session, just uh, what to get and how modding actually works. After this, I'll go into the more detailed features. So modding, as we can see, if we open up the Victoria 2 folder again, is basically just, again, merging folders. You don't make new things. You have to um, meld the two folders together. I'm actually not sure if my mouse is showing here. Uh, if it's not, then you know sorry about that but you can see there's common here common over here decisions decisions events events gfx gfx all these things are going to be merged together we're not making new folders uh, but we are making new things so in the common um I'm actually ad-libbing this. I don't, I don't have really a set thing. Uh, but in common, we see countries. Again, uh, a lot of these things are just being changed. Uh, cultures, self-explanatory if you want to make new cultures. And here I made Welsh, uh, Scott, or I didn't make Scottish, Cornish. Uh, I think I made Northern Irish, maybe not. Okay, so uh, the thing crashed twice. Um, my recording software, which is free off the internet. Uh, so essentially I went over cultures, countries. If we look in here, um, this is basically, it tells the game how the country is supposed to act and how to find the information for that country uh, in the given folder. Um, if we put, if we look at the common great powers up here, all these countries are basically like lucky nations in EU4. Um, they'll be given bonuses and they will become great. And you can remove these, remove countries from up here and put them down in their respective spot. Um, and then it tells the game how to consider the countries and then in here the country folder is just um, it shows the background for the country like we can see the political parties uh, the country's color on the map and other things and when I started making these mods I used to make um, each country individually from scratch and then I realized it's a lot of wasted time and what I normally do now is I copy an existing file from the game and rename it to for the country so we can see like Cornwall it has ENG conservative so we'll have the same party name and ideas as the United Kingdom's Parliament uh, but it's not really important because they have kind of the same beliefs and such so it makes things a lot easier 
Uh, two other things I forgot to talk about um, that you should download, they're not necessary, but they're very useful, is, let's minimize these, uh, down here, bottom right, uh, paint.net, it's a good graphics, um, like, producer thing that you can use, it's software, and um, the main reason I use it is because when you make the flags, they need to be saved as a very specific type of file, a .tga, uh, which is um, not something most... Um, graphic software um, things save too and this one does and it's also a very good software program as well and I use it to make my thumbnails and down here notepad plus plus this is just something I use um, I find it easier uh, to help edit the files because it's more precise and it's uh, use really to code them um, you don't need those and in fact it's completely optional because uh, you can just use notepad itself or some other kind of engine but I find it very useful, so I would recommend those two as well. The links are in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching this, and in the next video, I will be... Uh, forgot again, sorry. Um, right now, I'm going to actually be making a mod of my own while doing this, because I may as well kill two birds with one stone. And the mod I was thinking of editing right now is uh, my... These are ones here, is Sicily. Uh, basically, I'm going to break up two Sicilies, I guess, between Sicily and Naples. Um, I'll probably add a lot of stuff in there as well, because that's not really interesting as it is. I'm making this up on the go, completely ad it. Uh, so, what we're going to do, I opened the wrong folder. Um, how I taught myself how to mod was I took a mod from someone else and I copied it basically, and changed it to my own, and then I do that with all of my mods, in fact. I just take my latest mod and I copy the stuff over. So I'm going to be taking the same things in common and put them over to this common. Uh, decisions, old well, decision events are um, optional, flags, etc. And that's how I make my mods. So I'll be going into each type of folder individually, and those will come out in their own videos. Uh, but yeah, thanks for um, watching and staying with me. Um, hopefully you all learn something from this and I'll be posting the other videos, uh, later. So thanks for watching. Other than that, I'm the captain 47 and I'll see you guys later.